My name is James Williams Jr. This is Come For Effort number two. This is my only video for tonight. I would love to say Happy Thanksgiving, but I'm about to break the mood in. Because every now and again, I find some things on the internet that make me ashamed to be a man. Yeah, um, I can't speak for other men. I can only speak for myself. You know, and it's, um, really sad when you look in the mirror and you're like, damn, I got the same damn gender as this ass hat. And I got to make sure that I set a better example for younger men in my family so that they don't come up to be like this person. And for men around the world, you know, we got to, um, got to take a knee and we got to think about how we deal with stuff. We got to think about how we act, you know, and this is a very important video. So, let us begin with an Indian student raped and killed in the U.S. for ignoring cat calls. Before I go into the article, cat calls are when you're, hey baby, and all this other, I want to get with that tonight, or I bet she tastes good, or I bet she's good in bed, and all kinds of other sexual in your windows that, um, you know, us men, myself included, have done is guilty of doing or will teach some kid to do in the future or some kids probably already doing it because they come from a family like most men they don't want the sons to be gay they want their boys to know about girls but they don't teach them the fundamentals about human rights and how the woman has the right to say no you gotta respect the word no and you gotta respect the stop now coming from a place of I tried to win back the love of my life for a very long time and I failed I have since moved on. I wanted to add that in there. That's probably about the only time that I didn't really take no for an answer. But I did eventually take no for an answer. And I hope wherever she is that she's happy. No. So, let us begin. This young woman. I believe is the victim. Very beautiful girl. Very, very beautiful girl. Super beautiful. No, great. Well, I guess that's the guy that probably did it. Thanks for fucking it up for black people. Again. Let's uh, zoom in on this asshole. Now, I could be wrong. He might not be the guy, but that's the pictures that they're showing. That's him. That's her. Damn technology. That's them together. All right, so let me let me get to this article now. A U.S. based uh, U.S. based Indian student was raped and murdered for ignoring cat calls, according to the prosecutor in Cook County Court, Illinois. Ah, damn. Donald Thurman, age 26, was arrested after charges of first-degree murder and criminal sexual assault after the body of 19-year-old Ruth George was found on November 23rd, 2019. That was just basically like a week and some change ago. University of Illinois, Illinois Chicago, Chicago student was found unresponsive in her backseat of her family's car after they reported her missing to campus police. Prosecutors had said that Thurman saw Ruth across the street and started catcalling her and the young woman ignored him and carried on walking. The assistant state attorney, James Murphy, explains the defendant was angry that he was being ignored. The defendant came up behind the victim, grabbed her around the neck from behind. Why does it say that twice? And put her into a chokehold with his arms still wrapped around her, around the victim's neck. He, <sighs> sorry. The defendant dragged the victim from the ground to the open back seat of the car. Thurman allegedly raped Ruth with a condom on while she was unconscious. Thurman lived near the campus but was not a student and did not know the victim. He allegedly admitted to the crime hours after being arrested. Surveillance cameras showed Thurman walking behind the Indian student 
as she entered the garage at around 1.35 a.m. on November 23rd. After a half an hour, he was spotted fleeing the scene. The campus police were contacted at 11 a.m. by the group's parents saying that they had not heard from her in two days. The police said the students found pinged in the Halstead Street garage on campus where they discovered her body in the back seat of the vehicle. November 24th, approximately 2 a.m., Thurman was arrested and questioned. According to the authorities, he gave a full confession of the horrific crime after 12 hours of questioning. Yeah, this is them together. So that is the asshole that did it. Whose family revealed that they had no they had hold no hatred towards her alleged killer as they grieve and grieve with hope in the statement they said. Our hope is no girl would be harmed in the way that um for a mother to never experience the type of heartache. Ruth lived out her her deep faith in Jesus by living, loving, and serving, leaving her legacy of Christian, sorry, Christ's kindness and sacrifice. She was beloved, she was, she was the beloved baby of our family. Thurman's lawyer argued that the defendant was homeless and with a history of childhood abuse and suicidal thoughts. I'm going to stop right there for a second. No, um, childhood abuse and suicidal thoughts. Okay, first, metaphorically, me being forced to fight was considered child abuse. But back when I was growing up, it wasn't really considered child abuse. That was just something that people of color did. Suicidal thoughts, I've battled them every freaking day for a very long time. And I have not once thought about going out and killing innocent people for me wanting to bring harm to myself. That sounds fucking ridiculous. Let's move on. The suspect denied... The suspect was denied bail and would remain in court, Cook County Jail. The UIC University of Illinois Chicago student hung yellow ribbons around the campus in memory of the Indian student who was nicknamed Baby Cooler. I probably didn't say that right. I'll spell that part for you. C-O-L-O-U-R. UIC counselor Michael... I cannot say that name. Uh, A M I R I D I S paid tribute to Ruth, who dreamed of being a health professional. He said, It's very difficult to find the words that can say to express the sadness of our entire community experience today following the news of the tragic death of the 19 year old undergraduate student. We offer our sincerest condolences to the student's family and friends, and I am. Um, Hold on. Okay. Students, friends, and family, and our heart goes out to the struggle of the devastating loss. On social media, Ruth's friends and family said that she was the sweetest person with the brightest smile. Her sister Esther George posted, She was the light in our family and the best of all of us. She was the wise beyond her years. Now she's gone too soon. God give us peace. UIC student Daniel Arner said... I just hope he gets what he deserves. I hope he gets. I hope justice gets served. Another student, Miles Turner, said, "It's very shocking because I don't really hear things like this often happening in this campus." But I like, but like I said, this is Chicago. Turman was on parole after serving six years, a six-year sentence. ABC Seven Chicago reported. In 2016, he stole a woman's phone before fleeing in a stolen vehicle and was released in 2018. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. But you know, I'm 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 gonna say this. You know, mental illness is a very bad thing, and if you have mental illness, there's nothing wrong with that. You just need to get help and know that you need to get help. Admitting that you have a problem is the first step in getting help. And then get your ass out there and get help, man. This young lady didn't have to die because she didn't want to have sex with this dumbass jackass. My condolences to the family and, and to all the young people, man. You know, 
I'm 46. In my wildest dreams when I was 20... Wait, how old was this fucking asshole? In my wildest dream when I was 26, raping someone was never a thought in my mind. You know, being a superhero maybe, flipping through the air, jumping off roofs, trying to get my movie career going. Yeah, those things are still in my head to this day. But, you know, raping someone... Not an option, man. When a woman says no, especially if y'all just met, which you should expect for a woman to say no, but if a woman says no, you know, it's time to go. It's just that simple. Now, if y'all go on a couple of dates and everything, fine, that's great. But if y'all go on a date and everything's hot and heavy and she says no, pack your shit and go. Tell her you'll catch her next time and be polite about it because she might just not be ready. She may have wanted to have sex in that moment and then she realized that she didn't want to have sex. Now, as mad as your ass is going to be with a rock-hard dick, go home. Don't do anything to her. Don't get so angry that you, like, start cussing around everything. Just respectfully go home. I know it's hard as hell to do, but go home. Porn on the internet is free. You got cell phones. You got laptops. You got ways to get your rocks off without having to go and rape somebody and kill them. I'm James Williams Jr. This is Come Forever number 2. BC and you. And please, respect the stop, and respect the no, and respect people's right to choose. I didn't just say woman, I said people. That way it's fair, and it's not bias. Be seeing you.